Hi guys and welcome back to Redstone with Mr. Griefers Creepers. So today I'm going to take you through, excuse me while I go to the menu here, I'm just going to alter the, uh, the controls, sorry, I'm just turning the sense down a little bit. As you can see, um, I've changed to <coughs> Minecraft version 1.7 which for a particular part of our parkour war map um, it makes giving items a lot easier um, currently um, well previously sorry under 1.6 you couldn't enchant items as you gave them to a player with 1.7 that's now possible so if I take you through quickly why I'm making this change you can understand why so currently you step on here it gives you um, a speed effect potion ignore that for the minute and then this is how I give players are on this map the ability not to take fall damage when they fall so first you have to give them leather boots you have to select the item on the item bar and then you move to this next button which enchants the items with feather falling and now the thing is <coughs> excuse me with 1.7 we don't have to actually move on to um, a different button or anything we can do this all through one button or as I'm gonna do it we're gonna do it through um, coordinates so the idea is um, the give command is split down into several parts um, first is the old sort of um, the old part of the give which was just give at A, at P, at R um, position so you can give it to any player you want um, and then the next step was the item number and then the final step was how many of that item you wanted to give them. With 1.7, you can further add to the setup of um, of an item. Ah, okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, where you can enchant an item as and when you need it. So I'll just give myself a little bit of milk. Um, okay, here, milk. So, what I'm going to take you through is how we go about implementing onto this map the new slash give command with automatic issuing of an enchantment on it as well. So, we're going to go down and say gubbings. No, we're not. First, we're going to go and get the exact center of here. Okay, so that will be this item here. Okay, so we press F3. Excuse me while I go to my notepad I've got open at the side. So, that's X. 20, Y, 77, Z, 253. Okay, so now we've got that data. We know where um, the player has to be stored, or in this case, a radius of 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, etc., etc., etc. So we know exactly where a player needs to be stored and the radius of that player to um, give them the feather falling boots so I'll just have this milk again just to so we're not running around super fast <laughs> okay we'll head down into the gubbings and we shall we'll place it here this should be fine here yeah we'll go here so let me empty my inventory just so it's nice and clear um, we're gonna need a repeater we're going to need a command block we're going to need a comparator and we're gonna need some redstone dust so First off, we're going to place a repeater down. Then we're going to place a comparator. This is going to be, uh, sorry, a command block. That command block's going to run a test for command to test someone's at that location. We're then going to place the comparator. So if someone is at that location, it will feed a redstone signal into here, which then we will fire out into a repeater and then onwards into the command block, which will handle the giving of an item. So. In this first one, we're going to, well, because we're not doing the test for command, I'll just copy it over and change the coordinates. So, test for at A, everybody at the coordinates we just took, so 20, 77, and 2, 5, 3. Okay, and it's a radius of 3. So now, this will activate when someone is at those locations at that location, sorry, or anywhere within the radius, and that will then fire this command block here. Okay, so let's go to this command block and let's start writing the give command. So you right click on the command bo box and that will bring up the um, set console command. 
So we know as per 1.6 it was slash give and now we have the choice of at A, at R or at P. So I'll run through them dead quick again. So at P is the nearest player to those coordinates, at R is a random player at the coordinates and at A is all players at the coordinates. So in my case, because I want all players at those coordinates to be issued with the um, boots, we're going to say at A. And then similarly to the last, um, to the test for, we're going to set the X, Y, and Z. So it's X equals 20, Y equals 77, Z equals 253. Okay, so we've got that, and then we know now the radius is a radius of 3. There we go. So we've set that. Now we need to issue, in this case, we're going to issue leather boots. So the next command is the item ID that you want to give to a player. So in leather boots, it's 301. Okay? Um, and then it's the amount. So that's 1. I want to issue 1 leather boot. Okay? And then the next command is whether you want to attach metadata to that. Um, metadata is something that we could go on for a while about, so we'll just say zero for the minute. <laughs> um, just use that, that's fine. Okay, now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So, um, I'm going to attach this entire command um, to the description, so you can read it and I'll, I'll format it so it's nice and easy for you to understand and um, laid out. Okay, so we're going to have curly brace because this is where we're going to start adding the um, item data okay so we know let's put a space there always have a space um, it's going to be an enchant so ENCH indicates enchant and then it's colon and then it's squared bracket left and then another curly brace <laughs> and then it's ID colon 2 comma and then the level so LVL colon 10. And then we close this off with the curly brackets and the squared brackets. Okay, so now we know that this whole section here is part of itself. Okay, so it's an enchant, E-N-C-H, item number, ID, and in this case 2 is the feather falling effect, and I'm giving it an item level of 10, an enchant level of 10. So basically you don't take much damage at all. Okay, so that's how you give an en enchant. Simple as that. <laughs> okay, so now we can add some more data to this, um, such as, in this case, we're going to add a colour, we're going to add a name, and we're going to add the law. So, the colour, so we add display. This is the all the display data, so display, colon, curly brace, to indicate we're adding um, data for the display attributes. So, part of the display attributes is colour, name, law okay so first off we'll do color okay um, <coughs> excuse me so the color attribute is the decimal of a hexadecimal value okay so in in web design um, all the colors are indicated by hexadecimal so for instance red would be hash sign ff zero 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 that's red Okay, so the hexadecimal version of that is 16711680. Okay, confusing as I wouldn't know that. There's a great tool on online which I'm going to put in the description, which basically you just say what colour you want and it will give you the decimal version of it. There you go, simple as. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we've said what colour it's going to be, we're going to attach a name value to it. So name, and then we're going to attach the colon. OK, and then we're going to speech marks and give it a name. So in this case, because they're going to be jumpy shoes, we're going to call them jumpy shoes. OK, and then another comma. Now the law, the law, if you look at a tooltip, um, it's the text on the bottom two lines of the tooltip that pops up. OK, so the law, it's an array. So we're going to go colon, squared bracket, and um, the first one is the, the line one, essentially, of the array, the top line. So we're going to say jumpy shoes again. Um, 
but just to show you how it's different we're going to put an exclamation mark so you can see where this comes up okay and then it's another speech mark and now the second part of the array is the descriptor so in this case we're going to say go higher shoes <laughs> shows close I was close shoes there we go a couple of exclamation marks just so you can see and now it's to close all of the data off we've got so far we do speech mark closing square bracket closing curly brace for the display data we put in and then closing curly brace for the entire data okay that's it as easy as that so what we need to do now, I'll do this through a jump cut, is we need to go up and we need to start the game so we can um, go up and get the item. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Reset and start the game. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do this in game mode zero, I'm going to move us to game mode one so we can fly everywhere and get there a lot quicker. Okay, so we fall down there, we'd have to climb up the ladders and then we'd get to here, which before you would have to step on and click a bunch of buttons but now they just land in your inventory there you go enchanted boots on your feet and it's jumpy shoes feather falling 10 dyed red as you can see and it's um item data is jumpy shoes oh, sorry it's law as jumpy shoes first line and go higher shoes second line okay so let's have a another quick look at the text just so you can get your head around it one more time here we go so put a button there look at that um, so slash give at a the location of where you want it so x20 y77 z253 and it's radius of 3 okay so that's anywhere within that exact location give them some leather boots so item ID, give them one leather boot. We attach metadata, so leave that as zero and it'll all work fine. Open curly brace, and now this is where we get interesting with the enchantments. So it's ENCH colon, and then in squared brackets to indicate you're passing an array, ID two, level 10. So ID is the um, effect ID, which is two, which is feather falling, and level is the level of feather falling so that's level 10 of feather falling so uh, okay we'll go out whoops we'll go over the final bit and then we'll leave it at that so it's the law so we've got the display we're passing a color the display sorry there if you can't see it and um, the color which is red decimal value again the link in the description to figure to work those out the name which is jumpy shoes and to the law tags law jumpy shoes is a title and go higher shoes as a descriptor so <clears throat> like i said the slash give command will be in the description if you do have any questions then feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be glad to help you and i'll hope to see you next time so i've been mr griefers creepers please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon goodbye